Okay, so now, right here, if you notice, there's TT on here. And if you look in the back, it'll tell you what it is, the Tilo Talent. These are brand new in the market. You actually can't eat them into America yet. And the thing about it is that this is actually an extension kit. It's fairly easy to put on. And I'll show you real quick. So first, this array, all this you have to do is patio. this, take the original one off, and then okay. put the extension it's top so on. Now. It's best if you use an EDU, like so. And then there's this dropper for the tele. And the way this works is the same as this, except it has a thinner wire, and it's more homemade. And once this is all finished programmed and, uh, and all of that good stuff, you can actually use it to grab onto things. And this is 3D printed. This we bought. And it came with a controller. Which is right here. And it is for the DJI Mavic Mini. Okay, so all of these pieces right here were 3D printed by other Mechatech students. Um, so all of these files, first of all, they were all STL files that we downloaded and got off of Thingiverse. Which is full of different 3D models and things like that. The first one and the third one are the same models. The, just the basic Christmas tree with little holes in them for LED lights. Second one is the same except not as detailed and it comes in halves, as you see. And then the second to last one is just plain. Nowhere for lights, nothing, none of that stuff. And then the last one is just a little fake little board that you can stick little LED lights in and it has a star on the top okay so I'm Alex back here with Mechatex and first off today I'm gonna go over a coin cell battery holder to put on top of any drone to use lights. So this holder, if you want to use a light with it, which it's specifically made for, is you need to use a 2016 battery, which is not really different from the um, 2032 battery, other than its height and how or if you go, go by this way, it's width. It's just a, I'd say about a millimeter or two small, um, thinner than the 2032 batteries, which will fit in these, but it will fit so tight that you can't put a small LED light in there. And the thing about this is that you have to make sure you put the LEDs on the right. And the way you know how to put it on it right is the longer pin is positive, the shorter one is negative. 
another way to find out is if you don't have this way you ha you look for the if you look closely right here you will see that there is a flat part right here you guys might not see it but if you find that flat part it then you know it is the um, negative side and you put that to the back of the battery like so Okay, so now I'm going to talk a little bit about the Tello um, egg tosser that you put on top. It's fairly easy to put on, but to take it off you have to be very careful. You might have to use something thin to get it off because it's tight. And we've actually broken two of these trying to get them off of the drones. But the drone I'm put using as an example is the Tello Iron Man version. And the way that the egg tosser works is that whenever the drone flips, it flips faster than that. And whenever it does it, the egg will pop out. And this specific egg is a Mexican cascarones. And what, what's inside of here is confetti. And we have two of them, red and green. Then there's just regular Easter egg eggs. And then something a bit different is the glow in the dark eggs, which actually come with glow sticks to put them in, put inside, but we don't have those right now. And all of these eggs, as you can see, will fit in there. Some, a few fit better than others, but other than that, it's good for what it's made. And this, just so you guys know, is not, we did not buy, we 3D printed it. 